Hi there, I've done this video a gazillion times. Uh, it's been on my YouTube channel. I think there's like five versions or something like that. Uh, but it's very important when you want to make animations and you want to start off with settings that are okay to start off with and maybe check them at the end. But once you do animations at 25 frames a second, you want it to be 25 frames a second. So when you start up Cinema, it comes up with the project settings in the attributes window. Now, if you don't have it in that corner, you can go for project settings, control D, and you get them up here. Now, what you can do is, um, first of all, set this to 25. FPS means frames per second. As soon as I do that, my maximum time and my maximum preview time change to 75. Now, maximum time, I always take about six seconds. So that would be 150 frames. Um, maximum preview time is uh, 75. Just to keep it under control, I can extend this inside the file when I'm working on my animation. And this is actually a pretty good setting. Now, you also have the keyframe interpolation. Um, its default is spline. I'll, I would leave it there unless you know that it's going to be linear all the time. Linear uh, has to do with animations uh, not speeding up or slowing down, but at a fixed rate. So I'm just going to leave this there. Now, I have to do some more adjustments in the settings. Oh, by the way, um, I think it's very handy when you're uh, modeling stuff, for instance, and you got these, uh, well, let's say that we got all these subdivisions for a cube here. You don't see them. That's because of the display settings. I always set it to crocheting lines, which shows you the subdivisions, etc. Makes it a lot easier. Get rid of the cube because otherwise you get a default cube every single time. Now let's go back to the uh, render settings. I prefer to have 1280 to 720. I don't have to have uh, uh, an HDTV. So let's see, where is it here? HDTV 180, 25 is fine too, but it's a bit big. <clears throat> if you want to leave it at that, and you want to uh, do it that way, fine. Now, I'm considering that I'm always rendering an animation. So I'm always rendering from 0 to 150. So that's actually 151 frames, because frame 0 is added to it. Um, this is all fine. Um, this one, pixel aspect, always keep it at 1, because otherwise you screw up things frame step always keep it at one just to be on the safe side fields we don't bother with that anymore and let's move on to anti-aliasing standard this will be geometry just put it to best and filter for animation i think the best animation filter is mitchell which is an old-fashioned movie camera I like this one. So just keep it at that. This is all fine. Let's go down to options. Now there's a lot of options that I don't use very often. So uh, I'll actually uh, uh, get rid of them. And these uh, parameters like ray depth, reflection depth, and shadow depth are really high. So I usually set them to 10, 3, three and ten that's more than enough uh, this when it goes up high will add to your render time per frame um, i usually don't use reflections sorry refractions so that's when light 
goes through a trans uh, transparent object and is uh, actually uh, a little bit bent. This I will leave, uh, let's see, blurriness. Well, I use it actually pretty often. Uh, leave all this on. Volumetric lighting, I don't use it very often because it's very uh, render expensive. Uh, render doodle, no thank you. Subpolygon displacement, not really. And I'll remember it to switch it on if I do use it. Post effects, yes. Things like glows, etc. I will take into consideration. Subsurface scattering, I'll explain it in a later video, but you don't use it very often because it's very render expensive. That's it. No, you're, you're set. Um, what I'm going to do now is, uh, well, I've got a default camera. If you want to change any of these settings to your liking, then uh, uh, please do so. But remember, it will always show up when you introduce a new file. Now, I'll just save this. Save project, and I'll just go to my desktop and call this new and save it. Now I'll go to my uh, desktop and here's my new file. What I'll do now is uh, right click on my short key to the software and where is it? Open file location. So when I open my file location, I open up into the program files to my Maxon 3D uh, version uh, 23, and I'll just drag in this new file. And I'll just plop it in here. Say yes, because you have to have uh, administrative uh, um, allowances. I don't know. You have to be an administrator. So now it's in here somewhere. Where is it? I can't see it. Should be in here. Hang on. Still don't see it. Hang on. Uh, continue. Yeah, now it's here. All right. So now it's there. It's a new file, etc., etc. Now, what happens if I go back to my cinema? I introduce a new file, control N, and right away I see that my FPS is at 25. Standard, it would be at 30. So this is great. I solved my problem, and now I can start making animations with all the right settings every single time.